everybody. This week on Ask Chris, and I'm talking about women with autism because they have been so under researched and under diagnosed, they're often described as invisible. That didn't work. Ask Kristen question is coming from my name is not Maya who a while back requested could you possibly make a video about autism it's widely thought that autism is a lot more common in boys than girls however some studies as well as my personal doctor believe that this is only thought because the behavioral differences caused by autism are more hidden in girls the autistic girls are taught to hide or suppress all of the things we do which are not neurotypical behavior, i.e. stimming, antisocialness, and obsessive phases. Just curious, as I was only diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome when I was 13, despite my doctor saying that I was, quote, clearly autistic. Women and autism has been on my mind a lot this week. First of all, because it was Temple Grandin's birthday on Monday, hashtag rad lady alert. And also because Guardian columnist and autism activist Nicola Clark revived the hashtag she can't be autistic to raise awareness of how adult women with autism are often overlooked, misdiagnosed, underdiagnosed, if diagnosed at all. Before I get into some of those tweets, I want to share some facts. My name is not Maya is absolutely correct in saying that autism is perceived as more of a boy thing. And it's really been that way ever since we even figured out that autism exists. Austrian pediatrician Hans Asperger of the eponymous Asperger's syndrome initially thought that autism couldn't even happen to girls. And from the very first clinical account of autism published by Dr. Leo Kanner in 1943, the gender gap is front and center. Out of the 10 cases of autism that Dr. Kanner describes, only two belong to girls. Ever since then, autism research has been predominantly conducted on adolescent boys, to the point that the diagnostic tools we use even today were developed based solely off of boys' experiences and manifestations and neuro chemistry. A 2012 survey from the National Autism Society found that 20% of autistic girls had been diagnosed by age 11 compared with 50% of boys. So that tells you it's being spotted in boys earlier. 42% of autistic girls had already been misdiagnosed compared to 33% of boys. There's a lot more overlap with comorbid conditions such as OCD, eating disorders, self-harm, and anxiety that commonly happen with autism in girls, particularly as they hit puberty. What researchers are starting to really myth bust now is the idea that high-functioning autistic girls don't really really exist. For a long time, they were considered a clinical anomaly. Studies are finding that girls are simply better at masking their symptoms. And also that symptoms simply manifest differently a lot of times in girls, which has led to this adult population of autistic women who are fighting just to be assessed to find out whether they might be on the spectrum. Or a lot of them, like Nicola Clark, who revived that hashtag she can't be autistic, they've sort of had to cope along the way their whole life and have figured out ways to mimic other people's normal behaviors and have been side-eyed by doctors who are like, you know what, you're a woman with a vagina and hormones, so all this weirdness that you're feeling in your brain and this overstimulation that you're reporting, A, you're probably just being dramatic, and B, it's probably something to do with you just being anxious, depressed, or OCD. But the good news is, thanks to people like activist Nicola Clark and my name is not Maya who are saying, uh, hey, I'm here and I have a vagina. <laughs> and I'm autistic, the research community is starting to pay more and more attention and really validate how autism works in girls. In the meantime, I wanna read some hashtag she can't be autistic tweets to help all of us understand our misunderstandings about autism in women. Hashtag she can't be autistic because she has PTSD and those symptoms explain her behavior, but PTSD as a result of bullying because of being autistic. She's just shy equals many overlooked autistic girls in my whole childhood. Hashtag she can't be autistic. She can't be autistic because she's too pretty and does her hair. Hashtag she can't be autistic because we all get upset and stressed at times. She's just overreacting. Overreacting? 
Speaking of gender, I'm really curious about more details on how gender identity and autism might work together. And also, just quick check, I mean, am I the only one who is noticing how not only, <laughs> not only binary, but also very white a lot of autism coverage is? Hmm. But now, as always, I want to hear from you. Does hashtag she can't be autistic really sound like your life? If so, let me know in the comments below. And also, any other thoughts, experiences, tips, and questions you might have about autism or anything else, leave them in the comments below. Because as always, you gotta ask me your questions so I can give you some answers.